Hi everyone and welcome back to Confessions of a Homeschooler. Today I'm going to do a video review for my Expedition Earth Geography curriculum. And so if you're interested in seeing how I set it all up and how we use it and what it looks like, stick around and let's take a closer look. Alright, so there's a lot of stuff that comes with this curriculum and it can be kind of overwhelming. So we're going to take a look at um, all of them so you can kind of see how I set it up and print it all out and all of that kind of stuff. So here's kind of an overview of the majority of the materials. All right, so let's take a closer look at some of the books that I recommend. Um, of course, I do recommend that you have a wall map or a globe or something just so that your kids can get an idea of actually where things are. Um, and then I do also suggest some other supplemental materials. The first one is called Children Just Like Me. This is a totally optional book. Um, however, it is kind of fun if you can get your hands on one or from the library or whatever. But it just goes through and there it tells about kids um, just in some of the various countries that we're studying. And not all of the countries are included in this book because I cover like 31 countries, I believe it is. And so they're not all in here, but there are several in here. And it just gives you an idea of what they like to do, how they dress, what they eat, where they go to school, and things like that. So this is kind of a good additional book. Like I said, it's totally optional, but we enjoyed it um, reading about these children in the various areas. And my kids liked it. So, so that's one. The next one is A Trip Around the World, and actually there's another one called Another Trip Around the World, and I loaned it out to someone, so I don't have it for this video, but um, I do highly recommend these. If you're only going to get um, one thing, I would or two, I would highly recommend A Trip Around the World and Another Trip Around the World, because in here there is quite a bit of information on some of the different countries, so there's just, you know, some extra activities, some facts, and things like that. There are also facts and activities and all that included in my curriculum as well, but this is definitely a nice kind of added bonus for you, and it just gives you some extra resources, and there are some recipes that I refer to that are in these books and that kind of thing. So these are just a fun um, addition, and I do recommend getting those if you can. And then a new one that I added a few years back is called Animal Habitats. And this is probably one of, this is again optional, but it's so much fun. And this really helps bring the science into the unit as well. And so for each region that you are studying, you know, that goes with the different countries and, and whatnot, they have these um, uh, printable kind of 3D pop-up books that you can print out and do. And so I just take, I had this spiral bound at Office Depot which makes it much easier to copy. And then I just print it off whichever ones we're gonna be working on that week and enough for all of my kids. And then they each make their own little pop-up book. And they each have information on the various habitats and the kind of animals that live there and that kind of thing. So these are really fun. So I do recommend this. And as you can see from the cover, they're like, they're like little pop-up booklets and we just store those in their binder. And then the last one that I recommend um, is the I use the Usborne Internet Linked Encyclopedia of World Geography, and I think they have an updated version now. I'm not sure. Really, honestly, you do not have to have this one. You can have any world geography um, kind of atlas or encyclopedia, and it's just that your page numbers obviously will be different because in my curriculum I refer to certain page numbers in this book. But as you can see, when you're in different various regions, um, you can read about their climates and the kind of um, agriculture. There's weather in here. Um, anyways, this is really kind of the science portion of the curriculum, and there's information. This particular, the internet linked one has um, obviously internet links and you can go to learn more um, information and that kind of thing so this book was just really fun and informative and it just helps to bring in an extra element into the study it's just more information on each reason region and so um, it is referenced quite a bit in my curriculum but like I said you don't have to have this one you can get your own atlas you can check one out from the library just you know when you're in that country find it in your atlas and, and read about it in that so Okay, and then the next thing I want to show you is the curriculum itself, and this is what you'll be printing out. Um, this is the teacher's manual, and you can either choose to have it spiral bound or put it in a three ring binder, or you can actually not print this out at all if you want to save money and just have a computer close by so that you can look at your lessons. There are also a lot of internet links for more information in the teacher's manual, and so sometimes I have both. I like to have a paper copy just so I can kind of keep track of where we are, but I'll usually also have my one up on my computer so that we can click on any you know extra links and and that kind of thing so but the teacher's manual 
Um, it basically just tells you what you need to do for each lesson and in the beginning of it it tells you it has a table of contents and then it lists these resources that I just talked about the books and all that kind of thing anything that's blue and underlined you can click on to see which one I'm talking about these ones are all included in the curriculum so you don't need those and then this last one is a wall map or a globe which like I said before um, and then here's just some additional resources so and then as you go through the curriculum um, it gives you kind of like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, what to do type of thing. And so on Monday, you'll add your flag sticker to your passport, which I'll show you in a second. You're going to locate the country so the kids know where you're at. Um, you're going to read, you know, these certain pages in the Trip Around the World book. You're going to learn um, this song, which I'll show you in a minute. And you learn how to say hello in Chinese. There's some fun facts that you're going to learn, which are on the following page. Um, they'll uh, learn to write 0 to 10. Um, using the Chinese alphabet and anyway so each day kind of goes with that and each day has um, various different projects about that country and then on Friday um, we always did uh, either there's a craft um, or a recipe and we always like to go out and try and find a restaurant that um, went with that country just to kind of experience the food so we either tried to make something at home or go out and find a fun restaurant and so that was probably one of my uh, kids' favorite things is that every week we were trying some new kind of crazy food that we maybe hadn't had before so and then here's a picture of our Great Wall of China that we built and all of the instructions for all of this are included in the teacher's manual anything that you might, you know, information that you might need. And so it goes through with each country telling you what to do. There's maps and all that kind of stuff in here and recipes. And if there's a craft that they need to do or whatever, there's a, you know, a printout for that and all of those kinds of things. So that's the teacher's manual. In the back of the teacher's manual is an appendix and that's where all of your reports or quizzes um, or anything like that might be. So if you have older kids and you want to challenge them a little bit more, you can have them do a report either um, by the continent or you can have them pick a country to do their favorite, you know, their favorite country or whatever. There's also animals, which I'll show you in a minute, and they can do reports on those. And then there's quizzes as well. So any of those kinds of things that you want to use for older kids, you're welcome to. I didn't use those uh, for like, say, kindergarten, maybe for uh, kindergarten and down just because they aren't writing as well and that kind of thing. Um, and then there's also... Um, hello cards is what I call them and you're they're gonna learn how to say hello in all the various languages and so you can print those out or you can just leave them in your put them on your whiteboard or whatever it's up to you and then we also do have prayer cards so each country that you go to you can pray for the citizens of that country and I had my kids just fill this out um, you know as we went through of what they thought that country needed prayer for um, and you can do that or skip that if you want and then here's some instructions on how to assemble the student binder um, and there's of course in, additional reading if you want more information for each country that is recommended as well and then it also includes a cover um, some these are the cover binder spine um, printables and then if you want to do like tabs in your binder these are the little inserts for the tabs and I'll show you uh, my daughter's binder in just a sec so one other quick thing I wanted to show you that we did for um, Expedition Earth was in the very back we did a shopping list for the crafts and it's in order um, by country and then it tells what each of the crafts are and then what you're going to need for those crafts. So you could simply print this out, take it to your craft store, get everything you need and then you'd be ready to go. And how I do, am going to do it is go and probably get everything for whichever crafts we choose to do. You don't have to do them all of course. Um, all at one time and then I just keep them in my craft um, art kind of cabinet and then that way whenever we come upon a craft in the curriculum we already have all the stuff and I'm not scrambling or skipping you know some of the more fun things so I added that in to try and help everybody out um, as well as myself as far as getting prepared for the year so that's just one other little added bonus for Expedition Earth so that's the teacher's manual like I said you can print it um, this cost me about three dollars to have it um, printed and bound and it's got a clear cover on the front and then kind of a hard uh, cover on the back so that is that and then here is her binder this is the one that we did this several years ago and but I wanted to show you so we put it in a three ring binder um, and then we put these little divider tabs in it you can create lap books with all of this information and have them add their projects to the lap books or you can kind of stick them in here it's up to you but as they go through they're going to be learning about all the different animals for each region and there's either traceable um, for younger kids sentences or there's also blank ones so that if you have older kids they can write their own facts about each animal and then there's also mini books that go with each one and it just they just fill out the capital city the language the currency um, I had them put a star where the um, 
uh, capital was the Yangtze River and the Hung Wang He, sorry, I can't say that river. Um, so they're going to color them and then um, label the flag and all of that kind of thing. So each one has a little mini book. And we didn't put these in a lap book. Um, however, uh, I would recommend doing it. And I think we will probably will do that this year. We ended up kind of just keeping all of our things in these little pockets here. And that's just kind of how our year rolled along. But anyways, and it was kind of nice because if we had any extra, like we made paper and then she wrote on the paper. And so we just kind of could shove any of those extra things that we did in this binder. And then they're all labeled. And then behind each one is their, the flag and what it means, and then information about each country. And um, a lot of this information is taken from the Trip Around the World books, but you can, if you decide not to get that book, you can uh, just go and look it all up online as well. So uh, that might save you a little bit of money. But And so that's what her workbook looks like. And so we did all kinds of various little projects for each country. Um, they're all different, but they do all have the animals and the mini book. So that's what her binder looks like. So you'll want to print out one copy of the student binder for each of your kids for sure. Um, and then the next thing that you'll want to print out is a passport for each of them. And the passport I printed on cardstock and I printed double sided so that as you flip it you're not you know, wasting paper. And you can print the flags out from my website. You can We printed ours on label paper and then just cut them out and stuck them on. But I pr this year I just printed them on copy paper and I'm just going to have them glue them in. So whatever you want to do. But we wrote down the date that we got there and then the end of the week the date that we were leaving and going to our new country. So each country that we visited has a sticker and a date on it. And then by the time you're done you have a full passport full of all the different countries that you've gone to and visit it. So each of one of them will need a passport and then each one of them will need their set own set of passport flag stickers and then these are review country review cards and they come by continent and so these are the major countries that we studied and then all the capitals and then you can either print one of these out per student or use this as kind of a group game which is what we did and then they can match you cut all these out and cut the cards out and then they can match the capitals with the countries and there's one of those for each one of the countries that you go through so that's just a nice review game to help them remember and we do review that on a fairly regular basis um, the next thing I printed out were the hello cards and we review these and as we get to a new country we just kind of keep adding those to the stack and you know every morning when we start we just review all of the ways to say hello one other fun we um, thing we added in was this we sing around the world CD and it comes with um, a book that has the words for all of the songs but they're really cute just songs for they don't have all of the countries in there that we studied but they're really really cute and the kids really enjoyed learning these so this is optional but um, I do recommend it just because it was kind of a fun addition to the program and then probably one of our very most favorite things was our animal wall and we created about a five foot by three foot bulletin board on our wall and then we labeled them. All the labels are included in the curriculum and we labeled them mammals, reptiles, um, birds, fish, you know, the various animal classes. And then I cut the, um, and laminated these cards out. They're actually laminated on the front, but they're not laminated on the back. And I wrote what country each one came from so that um, I would know. And then I put them in a bag by continent just so that as we were there, I could, it was easy to kind of sort through and find the animals that we were learning about. Um, and these are super fun. The kids love learning about all the various animals. They learned so much about each one of these creatures and you know honestly I should probably count. I'm not even sure how many animals there are um, in this in this program. There's obviously you can see all of these cards. So there's like several animals that they'll be learning out throughout this. They learn about their habitat, what they eat, um, uh, just all kinds of information about just fun facts about all of them where they live, what their climates are, you know all that kind of stuff. So um, like I said I wrote the the um, country on the back just so that as you were going through it was kind of easier to find you don't have to do that but I did and when they come in the the curriculum they're actually on one sheet of paper that says you know India and then it will have all the animals for India so anyways I highly recommend you do this um, in order to laminate the front and back I'm gonna do a video on this soon but I basically had these were both say 8 by 10 sheets of paper I put them back to back like this and ran them through my laminator and then when I cut out the cards they come apart obviously because they're not stuck together so you end up with laminate on the front but not on the back I do that because it makes it a lot easier to put a little piece of tape or velcro or whatever on the back of these cards to stick them to your wall um, I don't know if you've ever tried to put tape on laminate but it doesn't work very well so 
that's my suggestion on those cards. So those are the animals. And then we also have a Christmas around the world section included in this and I just pull that out whenever Christmas kind of hits. There's um, eight different countries. They're kind of shorter units. It's something kind of fun if you're going to take a Christmas break from school you could still do this because it's all um, crafts. Learn You learn a little bit about how those countries celebrate, celebrate Christmas and what they do um, um, for gifts and, and food and that kind of thing and then we just these aren't even laminated. Um, I just printed these on cardstock, punched a hole and put a ribbon in them and then we had a special tree that we hung um, our ornaments from on from all of the countries that we studied. So it was just kind of a fun little extra thing. And like I said, there's also crafts and recipes in that part of the program too. So that's what my Expedition Earth is all about. I hope you guys uh, find it fun. We're going to be using it this year with all of our kids. So we'll be posting that on my blog as we go through each of the countries. And it's a lot of fun. There's, as you can see, a lot of fun activities to do. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at erica at confessionsofahomeschooler.com. And you can, of course, get this product in my store um, off of my website. So I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you for the next review.